The biggest myth on the internet on how to recover data from a clicking hard drive is to put it in the freezer. So what we did here, we got a clicking hard drive and we put it in our freezer for about three hours. So we're going to take off the cover now to see what it looks like inside. And if you notice, there is condensation forming. That's because the disk is, surface is very cold and um, water from the air is condensing on the surface. This is much like you put a glass out on a hot summer day with ice in it and water forms on the outside of the glass. Now the reed head has electricity in it and if you mix electricity with water it can actually cause the hard drive to erase parts of the disk. So let's see what happens if we plug the hard drive in. Okay, the hard drive is spinning up and what it should do is it should go to the middle of the disk and load its operating system. This is much like the way your computer boots but the hard drive has its own operating system and the operating system contains the clicking routine along with the reading routine and you can see it made an attempt and it didn't quite load the operating system let's see if it tries it again okay it's gonna load the operating system and it's gonna try again and again and it's gonna try again to load the operating system Okay, without the operating system, uh, the hard drive does not know how to click, so therefore it stopped clicking. But also without the operating system, the hard drive does not know how to read data. So this hard drive will not be able to read data anymore. So it, it did stop the hard drive from clicking. If that was your main purpose, to stop it from clicking, it seems to have worked. But if you wanted to recover data from this hard drive, um, this hard drive is now unrecoverable because the operating system is erased on this drive.